So this video is for my goofy brother who texted me the other day and said he hasn't seen me post a video for over a year. So this is for you, bro. I'm changing my oil in my old truck so I can go fishing. Because these filters hold two quarts of water, I'll usually fill it up with oil before I put it back on the truck. So that's what I'm going to try and do now. Without spilling. And then of course I'll put a film of oil on that gasket as well before I put it on the truck. To help seal that up and keep that from leaking. This is one of the joys of having this old 7.3 power stroke that holds, I think it holds 14, 15 quarts of oil for an oil change. That's probably going to be plenty. Now the trick is to work my way with this filter back underneath the truck without tipping this filter over and spilling this two quarts of oil all over the place. I won't bore you with that routine. Because if I end up spilling, I don't want anybody to know. Okay, I've got the filter back on, didn't have any spills, I've got the drain plug back in, so now I'm going to start pouring oil in this thing. Not a very exciting thing to watch, but uh, I'll show you a little bit of it. Because you just do this, pour oil forever and ever and ever. I usually let it sit and drain like that out of each one of the gallon containers so I can get my money's worth. Okay, this is my fourth gallon. I usually put in everything but the last quart of this last.
finished my oil change, but not before my camera batteries went dead. So uh, now that this truck's ready to go, I'm uh, going to head out and try to do some fishing. If I can remember how to get to where I want to go and everything works out well. It's a hot day down here in the valley. So I'm looking forward to getting up higher where it's not as hot and miserable. I'll take you along with me. Where I can 
elevation. The ears are starting to pop, and now oh, I'm starting to get rough. Maybe I'll show you some more, but when I get up a little further. Okay, I'm, I don't know, 58 miles in or something like that. And this is where the road gets tough. I'm gonna put the hubs in. And, uh, go to four wheel road. This is the road that I didn't think was a road. Apparently it's the road to the sweet fishing spot. Now we put it in four wheel low for this. Okay, that's uh, the worst of it from what I can remember. Not that it gets great from here on out. The, the road's very narrow and, and still really rough. And you really have to watch so that you don't tear off a mirror or pop a tire sidewall or anything like that. That's about as steep and as, as bumpy as it gets. I say that as I see the camera shaking so bad that I have no idea if I'm even in the frame. I have no idea what any of this video is going to look like. Good heavens. Because uh, I don't know what I'm pointing the camera at. I might not even be in the frame for all I know. Anyway, I'm going to put the camera away for a while so I can concentrate on driving. Okay, this is my parking place. This is where the, I leave the road and start hiking. So I'm going to gather up my stuff. I've got a pack and a couple of things. And, and then it's about a, a half mile hike from here to where the lake is. Okay, I got my pack and my fishing pole and I'm going to head out. Hope I can uh, get there without too much trouble. The first time I came, uh, the guy that showed me this lake 
he says he's never been in or out the same way in his life. He's always ended up taking a different route. And last time we, as soon as we left the parking spot, we found some, some ribbon. And the assumption was that that might be a, a half decent trail into this lake. So we started following the ribbon and it ended up being terrible. It took us into some uh, big boulders and it had been, it was raining while we were here. And they were all slippery and wet. And uh, it really stunk. And on the way out, we avoided those boulders and ended up going too far down the road. I had to walk back up the road to get the truck. And I talked with the guy the other day and he said that you don't want to go too far the other way either. You end up in boulders that way too. So hopefully I can get there without getting into those boulders. Good heavens, I'm breathing hard already. If I can give you any advice, it'd be first of all, don't get old. And if you can't avoid that, don't get fat. You ever have that feeling that you're going the wrong way, but you just keep going? That's kind of what it feels like for me right now. It feels like I'm going way too far west. This seems to be a, kind of seems to be a trail. And I know I definitely don't want to go the other way because that's the way I went last time and it was terrible. So far I've stayed out of the boulders and that's a, that's a good thing. Now we're kind of going the right direction. I keep seeing things that I hope are indications that other people have come this way and that this is the best way to get here. I sure hope I'm right. Okay, I'm going to show you what I find every now and then. This has been the biggest pile of rocks I've seen, but I keep seeing stacked rocks like that. And I'm hoping that that means that I'm on the right track. Uh, there's no real clear trail where you could just pick through this stuff based on uh, looking for lack of vegetation. Wow. Okay, there's another stack of rocks. I'm gonna follow the stacked rocks. You can see these boulders out here. This is similar to the stuff that I walked through the first time I came here except honestly they were bigger and uh, almost straight uphill and uh, it was raining so they were slick and I slipped and fell down once and banged my head on the ground, banged my elbow ended up with a bruise on my elbow banged my hip too so again I guess that goes back to my advice, don't get old and don't get fat because it makes this kind of stuff a lot harder. Okay, I must be getting close. I'm thinking this is the outlet to the lake, so it's got to be pretty close. The rock piles are closer together to help get you through this, these big boulders, I guess. I'm hoping this is the right way. We're about there. So this fishing pole that I've got, I'm sure I had it before I got my driver's license. So it's old. I have replaced the reel on it, but this pole has got to be 40 plus years old. All right, here's the lake. I just made my way up to it. Let me turn the camera around. Get up here where I can get a better shot. 
instead of into it. And I'll get back with you when I get that figured out. So I'm walking along the lake and I found some raspberries. I hope you can see them in there. There's a few of them in here. They're not very big. Not very big at all. Mmm, but they taste like raspberries. Oh wow, that's good. since I've done any fishing or one of the reasons I got ready to set up my pole and realized that even with my glasses that I wear now I can't see anything when I'm trying to tie a knot with this fishing line so it's always a guess as to whether or not these knots are going to hold or if the whole thing is going to come apart anyway I'm going to give it a couple of casts to see what happens hopefully I can get one of these arctic grayling bubble's gonna work with this wind blowing. I might switch up my lure and see what I can do with the spinner. fish in three casts. I didn't really fish after that because it was raining so hard so it's not looking so good this trip. See what happens. So far, this kind of sucks. Uh, I haven't had any bites, and the wind is really making it tough. I'm gonna hang out for a while and see if the wind dies down as it gets later, and maybe keep fishing in the meantime and see what happens.
if you haven't got something in the first four or five casts, then you're not getting it. So I usually just, plus the fact that I'm not very patient, I usually just go along if I haven't got anything that quick, which is what I'm going to do now. It's been about an hour since I uh, shut the camera off last time. I had to put it in my pack and start charging the batteries because they were going dead. It takes a lot of battery to take video of some guy standing there casting uselessly into the lake. Anyway, it's uh, sun's just going down, the wind's dying down. Uh, I think I just saw a fish rise, so I put my fly and my bubble back on. And I'm going to go give it a try again with that and see if I have any more success. It's going to have to happen quick or I'm going to have to get out of here with the sun going down. I don't want to... I've, I've only been in here, this is only my second time, so I don't want to have to try to get out of here in the dark. So I might have to go without catching a fish. Here's another one rising. There's another one. I gotta go catch fish. Like every time I step to the water, the wind picks up. Luke, it's come up out of the reel. Line's catching on. Can't get the cast. So much for my attempt at fishing today. I've got a mess that I'm going to have to cut off of here. By the time I get that done, I need to be out of here so I can get home without being in the dark. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hey, I just got back to my truck just in time. It just started raining. I'm so glad I left when I did or I'd be walking out of here in the rain. Uh, I apologize for not catching any fish. I'm going to try and make videos that have something fun in them. Because <laughs> this one kind of sucked. Anyway, uh, like I say, I got back the truck. It's raining. I'm going to see if I can't drive home now and get out of here. Talk to you later.